So we now know what Google's project stream is. It is Google Stadia. Now, if you're watching this video, then I'm just going to make the assumption you already know what Stadia is in case you don't. I guess just a really very brief summary of it. It's essentially this cloud platform that uses streaming to run games, and it's not like a subscription service. So, for example, you could play Assassin's Creed Odyssey on your phone, even because your phone isn't actually... Your phone isn't actually running Assassin's Creed Odyssey. Instead, a server is, like, through, like, Wi-Fi or Ethernet or whatever, is powering your phone, if that makes sense. If you're still confused on what Stadia is, I highly recommend watching the Google Keynote or watching other YouTube videos. There are tons of YouTube videos out already that talk a lot more about Stadia than I'm going to talk about in this video. But today, I wanted to share my personal opinion on Google Stadia, and... I'll be honest, I'm not entirely disappointed. I think it's cool. Like, I do think that Stadia and streaming games in the, like, just in general, is the future. Because, like, that's unfortunately just the way the wind blows. It's just kind of how everything has evolved. It's most likely going to happen to games next. So the convenience of Stadia is spot on. Like, when you are playing a game now, you can literally just share a link on Discord, or if you're still using Skype to play games for some reason, and you can play with, you can literally play it on your web browser, essentially. You can play it on your Chromecast, you can play it on your phone, your Android phone especially, because you can buy it through the Play Store. And this, there's so many features about Stadia that are really cool too, like when MatPat came on and then they're like, oh, we're going to do this all for creators, so... What's going to happen is that for creators, they're going to have like a lot more options to engage with their fans. And I really like the whole like stream wait time thing. I feel like if even though it's never going to happen, if like a game like, for example, Smash Ultimate could had like Stadia stuff, even though it's never going to happen. Like if it had Stadia built into it, that would be so cool for live streams if you could just press a button and now you're in the lobby of your favorite creator. It's very cool. And that's the one thing I will say to Google is that's. All the features they have, just the seamless integration with other Google services and AI, it's amazing. I'm really impressed. However, I'm still not fully satisfied or sure that it can replace my computer or my console, and that's the biggest issue with me. This is my personal opinion, and if you disagree, then that's totally fine. I actually implore you to leave your thoughts in the comments, but from my perspective, I was hoping Google was just going to unveil some more, f not necessarily more features, but just like more reasons as to why I would want to replace my PC or my console or not really replace them or just like use this as a substitute. Because for me, the problem with streaming, and this doesn't just go for Stadia, this goes for every single streaming service out there. If, if Sony makes one for streaming cloud games, if Microsoft makes one, if Nintendo makes one, if any other company makes one, as of right now, this is still a big issue. And that issue is that I like to play games offline. I don't know if other people feel that way. I'm pretty sure other people do. But the problem is that, say my internet's down, or say anything happens, I just don't want to play online. I don't want to be tethered to an internet connection. Or maybe I can't. I'm just not tethered to an internet connection. I can't play it. Because, like, the actual hardware is not there sitting there in your living room or in your lap or in your hands because it's streaming based. That's how the whole thing runs. It's powered by a server, and the only, the only way to get that power is through Wi Fi or like Ethernet or whatever you're using. So, as of right now, no streaming service has a substitute for that. I feel like there really is not an amazing substitute for that. And maybe one day, the only the only way I can see this being fixed is if we eventually just live in a world where you're always connected. That would be cool. And then at that point, sure. But it's like, there's so many different, like, just so many different times when I'm not going to be able to play connected to Wi-Fi. It's cool that I can play, like, Doom Eternal on my smartphone. But the problem is that if I'm on a road trip, I can't. And that's the thing that I wish it had. And I may be asking for a little bit too much here. This is definitely the earlier stages. I totally understand that. It's just, from my perspective, I just... 
I just, I can't see Stadia as of right now taking over that much because I have my PC for playing games and while, yes, I could get the power for all that by just, like, I wouldn't have to worry about P my PC and I could probably run it better. The issue is that I just, I can't really see it right now taking over my PC because PC and console has so many other things like, for example, my game library already is on, is already pretty big on Steam and Xbox One and Switch. And also, I just, there's so many, like, integrations with normal playing games and, like I said, playing offline. Now, this may seem, like, nitpicking or, like, un sort of unfair, and I get that, and this is probably going to be where most of the dislikes stem from in this video. Because, like, this is obviously the earlier stages, and this is not planning to be a Switch or anything like that. And if th there's maintenance happening on my Wi-Fi... I can't play any games if I'm using Stadia and only Stadia. Now, if you use Wi-Fi a lot and you don't have a PC and you don't have any consoles, then I can see more of a value in buying Stadia or buying Stadia games. It's just as of right now, I feel like there's so many people who own consoles and own PCs that it's just not quite there yet. It's very close and I think that Stadia has so much to offer and I'm really looking forward to what Google is going to do with it. I just, maybe I'm asking for too much. I just, I'm hoping that they can find a way to resolve this, make it less Wi-Fi based in the future. But anyway, that is my opinion. And if you have your own opinion, make sure to let me know in the comments. I hope you did enjoy this video. And if you did, make sure to share it on social media. And as always, see you.